A man was bitten by his own pet snake this weekend, prompting a statewide effort to rush anti-venom to Richmond to save his life. The reptile is considered one of the most poisonous snakes in the world. 8 News reporter Olivia Jaquith joining us now live outside VCU Medical Center, where authorities say he is being treated. Now, Olivia, what is the latest? Well, Eric Dana, authorities tell me that the man actually drove himself to the hospital after being bitten, but we don't have an update on his condition at this time. And although I'm told that bites like this are rare here, they can also be fatal. One of the world's largest and heaviest predators. There's no safe way to put your hands on a Gaboon Viper without getting bitten. A man was left fighting for his life after being bitten by his own pet, an African pit viper, also known as a Gaboon Viper. This video taken after a similar incident happened less than three weeks ago in Myrtle Beach. Here in Henrico, Rich and Cine, it is legal to own venomous reptiles without a permit. Cooper Saladay has worked at Finn and Feather in Henrico County for nearly 15 years. Although the pet store has a variety of snakes, they do not sell venomous reptiles like the one that bit this man. It is generally very still. It's an ambush predator, so most 99% of the time it can be sitting in a corner of its cage and not moving. It truly really lends itself to being able to get a false sense of security because within a millisecond it can bite across the entire cage. Details remain limited on how the man being treated at VCU was bitten by his snake in the first place. But we do know that VCU police requested help from VSP yesterday to expedite the delivery of anti venom treatment from the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center in Virginia Beach. VCU Hospital had reportedly already given the man anti venom treatment from the National Zoo, but needed another dose and fast in order to save his life. Venomous reptiles are a dangerous thing and it's not for everyone, um, but if it's done, in a safe manner, then it can be it can be done without any bites and without hurting anybody around them. And we continue to have questions about where this snake is now. Neither Richmond Animal Care and Control nor the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources say that they were called to retrieve it. For now, live in Richmond, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.